What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to another Football Manager Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install an individual club's badge into Football Manager uh, using Photoshop and then a little bit of coding but it is really simple. I'll have all the code down in the description as well for you to help you guys out so hopefully that works for you. So yeah, today we're going to be doing how to install an individual badge so I'm really going to take you step by step. Um, from A to B. Uh, so today for this example I'm going to be installing the Boston Town badge. So Boston Town are a, a non-league team in England. They're in the, the I think 8th or ninth tier and so if, for example if you're, you were going to be doing a road to glory with one of the really lower league teams using the 9 tier team database their badge isn't defaultly loaded into FM and I'd say just about every logo pack won't have their badge so this will hopefully come in use for you guys who maybe just want to install an individual team's uh, badge into your football manager. So first things first we need to go to football manager preferences interface and then you need to tick this box here that says show screen IDs in the title bar to assist skinning. Make sure that's ticked and then you'll see this ID number come up. Basically every club, every player, everything that has a skin within Football Manager has its own unique ID and when it comes to custom skinning and such all you're really doing is telling the game to load the image file from a certain location. So we're going to be going through this step by step. It sounds very overwhelming, uh, but you guys just need to bear with me. So the first thing we need to do is get a club badge. So I've got the Boston Town badge here. And what you need to do is you need to move it into Photoshop. And for the first thing, we need to create two versions of the badge. We need to create a 250 by 250, uh, sorry, 180 by 180 version of the badge and a one a, uh, an 18 by 25 version of the badge. I'll have all the dimensions down in the description and also write out these instructions for you guys who are struggling to follow it. So we're going to move our badge into the center here. We're then going to make sure we've got the, ba the background set to invisible. And then assuming your badge isn't rendered, if it's rendered there won't be any white bits around the edge, but if it isn't, all you need to do is click the magic wand tool in Photoshop and then you're just going to click there, delete, click there, you know, just get rid of all these white bits because these bits will show up when it's loaded up over FM and they'll just be this horrible white mess. So this is the really simple way of doing it and the lazy man's way. Uh, you can be as neat as you want with this. But now that we've done that, uh, you'll be left with something that looks like this. And then you also need to do a version that's 18 by 25. So 18 pixels tall, 25 pixels wide, and this is your icon. So once you've done that, you're going to want to save both these badges. You're just going to want to go File, Save for Web, and you want to save them both in a PNG format. So if we look on my desktop, I have two versions of the badge here. If I um, just show you in the preview bit, you should be able to see that we have the two versions of the badge here. So now that we have these two files, uh, both the large and the smaller one, we no longer need to worry about Photoshop. And now we get onto the fiddly bit. So with FM, if you install skins or install logos, you have them in a graphics folder. So you go to your Football Manager directory and you have a graphics folder. If you don't have one of these, you just need to create a folder called graphics. And then you need to create a folder called logos. If you've already got a logo pack installed, don't worry. Simply click on the logos pack. And then within here, we're just going to make a new folder called Boston Town or whatever team you're doing. So in this example, we're doing Boston Town. Now within this folder, we're going to have something called large and one called small. So large logo or large badge. And then I'm going to make another one called small badge like so. So now we paste both these images in and the icon one is going to go into the small badge and the Boston Town one that's the larger one is going to go into the large logo. So we can't just leave it there because basically what we now need to do is create what we call a config. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a, a really simple kind of uh, config file code that you can copy and paste but this bit's where it gets really tricky and it's really important that you do this bit properly. So if you've already got a logo pack installed, you can simply go into the logo pack and you'll see this thing called a config file. So in this instance, I'm going to be copying one from the FC United one that I've already done. So this is the config file for the large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this 
config file. In fact, I'll probably put both config files for download in the description to keep things really simple for you. Uh, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to paste the large one in here, like so. And we are then going to paste the small one, the small config file, um, in the small badge thing. So now that we have these config files pasted into the two respected folders of the small badge and large badge, we're now going to redirect the Boston Town icon image and the other Boston Town image so they load up in the Boston Town area. So to do this, you're going to right click on the config file and you're going to hit open with notepad. Now, although it looks very daunting, it is incredibly simple. Just bear with me here, guys. So what you're going to do is, in this number, this bit here where it says graphics, pictures, clubs, and then a number, you're just going to simply type in the number up here, which is the ID of the club whose badge it is. So in this case, it's Boston Town, so we just go 5103730. And then where it says record from, you've simply got to ma match this up to the name of the file. So in this ca case... Boston Town icon. So, Boston Town icon. It's really important that you do make sure you have all the hyphens and stuff in. What you could do is simply rename this um, badge image folder uh, file to the name of the club ID. That'll keep things simple for you. Once we've done that, close and save. And then we just have to do the exact same in the large logo folder. We open up the config file that's in here with notepad and then we change this to Boston Town because that's the name of the fold uh, that's the name of the image file and then for this image this number we just change it again to the club ID what I'll do is I'll include the text that you need to copy and paste uh, for both the larger logo and the smaller logo in the description and I'll also have a blank config file that will just say uh, file name here, club ID here for you guys. So hopefully you, you can use that with ease. Um, I should point out you can't use the same code for both because it's slightly different. The logo, the larger image has logo in this bit here, whereas the other one uh, for the smaller image has icon. And so you can't just copy and paste them across. So I should make that clear. So now that we've saved both of them, if we look, we now have a really nice looking folder. So we have Boston Town, we then have the large logo folder with the large logo and then the config here that has the Boston Town ID and the Boston Town file name and the exact same for the small badge here. So with that done, we're done here and if you've done it all right, it'll work. Now you don't need to reset FM but what you do need to do is make sure you hit um, clear skin cache, yes then reload skin and fingers crossed if the config file's been done properly and you've written in the number properly and you've written in the file name properly it'll load up your club's badge like so here so just like magic Boston Town FC it's loaded up fine if we go to the fixtures we should also have our team smaller icon if I just go to say Cambridge and look at their next fixtures you can see it here as the Boston Town icon next to it in small so it's really simple guys, it's just a case of getting them in two sizes, you need to have one that's 180 by 180 pixels for the large badge and the small badge which is 18, uh, 25 by 18. So what I'll do is I'll include both them in the description, the dimensions and stuff as well as some written instructions. Um, I'll have two download links, one for the large config for the large badge and one for the icon and I'll have it really simply laid out for you guys so you know exactly what to write where. Um, it's one of these things where if you follow the instructions properly guys it'll work so please don't leave me comments saying oh it doesn't work for me if it doesn't work for you watch the video back because you will be doing something wrong it really is simple anyone can do it you've just got to make sure the image files sizes are right in terms of the dimensions you've got to make sure your config's written out properly with the proper ID number which as I mentioned you just go to the preferences interface tab and then you can get the number by ticking this box here and hopefully you found this video useful as I said all the details will be down in the description for you if the video's helped you out and you've learned something new uh, if you could give the video a like it helps me out and other than that guys it's me Jack and I'll talk to you guys in a bit I'm out